welcome everyone. Um, we're going to go ahead and start right away, just as you're seated. And we'll start by bringing awareness to your body. And as you do this, you could close your eyes. It can be helpful to close that sense gate of the eyes and let awareness move into the body. Awareness right down to the very base of the body. Really feeling that heaviness. And then lifting up through the spine. Even your awareness is moving up through your spine. As we practice mindful yoga, there's awareness of the body and awareness of the spaciousness in the body and how we can play with this. Bring awareness to your throat, to your nostrils and feel all of your breath passageways and how you can choose to open them and free yourself of tension. So moving the body is important for our health. And bringing the mind right here and now helps us let go of tension. So we're going to reach the arms forward and then bring the arms all the way up and inhale. Drink in the inhale here. And then make fists with the hands and pull down as you exhale. Squeezing out the exhale. Inhaling the arms come back up. And as you exhale, pull down. Now breathe through your nostrils and continue at your own pace. Wake up the strength through your spine. Allow the face to remain soft, the eyes soft. We're aware of the doing, the strength that you're waking up here, and the non-doing, that releasing tension that allows the breath, the energy to move into the whole body. Keeping the throat soft, even the tongue is relaxed here. And then next time that you pull down, you'll just release, bring the arms right down to the side. And we're gonna let go of our seated pose. As you undo your seated pose, you can clear your mat completely and just release right down onto your back. As you lay down on your back, you can bend your knees. <clears throat> maybe reach your arms out to the side and then just reach the legs up into the air. And as the legs reach up, you can see your feet or the sense that your feet are now going to move around. They're going to circle around so you can move your ankles. Feel the soles of the feet. Ankles moving, the ankles might make sounds. And then aware of your throat, are you opening, keeping the throat soft. And now reach your arms up also. As you extend, the arms are now upside down. And then just take the legs and the arms out to the side. Let them drop kind of open apart. 
Maybe not all the way down and then bring the arms up again. Legs together. So you're bringing everything apart, just letting it open out to the side and then you're bringing the arms and legs together. And keep going with this, feeling the legs, the arms, the joints moving and the breath flowing. Explore doing this in a symmetrical way. And next time the arms and legs come up, just hug the knees into the chest. A little squeezing in here. And then the arms and legs go up again, just reaching up. And this time the arms start to reach up overhead. And then the legs start to lower down, maybe halfway down. And then they all come up again, just reaching up. And then just doing that repeatedly, your own way. Feeling, just sensing the strength of the abdominal muscles, back muscles. But aware, I'm not holding my breath. I'm breathing and moving. Exploring your own way of doing this. Yes, and then again, just bring the knees into the chest. Get that little hug in. And now just hold your right thigh. Bring the right knee in. And then the left leg extends out against the mat. Reaching that left leg out. Throw it open, this nice wave of breath into the body. Bringing your full attention here and now. And then switch, bring that left knee in, the right leg extends out. Now do this back and forth, breathing and moving. Let your awareness move deeply into the body, past any superficial understanding of the body. The wave of breath moving to your belly, Road softening again and again. And now bring both knees into the chest. And go ahead and just swing your legs so you come all the way back up to seated. So you're going to take your legs wide apart. Feel free to shift on your mat with the legs wide. You're sitting upright. And then just rotate to face your right leg and take your hands and just press on that right leg. Start to reach down towards your foot. So this is a little leg massage. Pressing, reaching way down. And then the hands come all the way back up, top of the thigh, and you press. You might even squeeze your leg. Let this just Go right into just, ah, that giving this full attention to your leg, like waking up this direct touch. Continue that awareness of breath moving. Good, as you come up, you're just gonna switch Rotating face, left leg, and reaching down the leg. Really press the inner, outer leg, pressing or squeezing. This real direct touch, direct care. I care about my legs. 
Notice what's happening with what's going on with your legs today. Good, as you come up, you're just gonna take soles of the feet together in the pose of Baddha Konasana. Arms could come down and then just that sitting upright so the front of the body opens up. And let's just close the eyes here and just feel the throat, feel the breath moving way down to your belly. The knees reaching out to the sides, forehead softening. You're watching really closely the body opening to this. Maybe sensing like, oh, how do the hips feel today? Giving the body some time to open. Sustain the steady breath. And then as you let go of this, you're gonna move right onto all fours. So on your hands and knees, feel the hands pressing on the floor, opening the hands, legs pressing down, and then just start to go right into your cat pose where you pull your navel straight up. Let the head drop, arching the back, squeezing out and then start to untuck the tailbone as you move to cow pose, chest reaching forward, and then move with your breath. Exhale, round to that cat pose. Squeeze out here. And that inhale takes you to cow. Possibly close your eyes. I'm sensing feeling the spine, the whole length of the spine. From the very tip, all the way up, crown of the head. Feel the earth, the stability, the grounding here. And then just pause in more neutral spine here and then reach your right leg back. Extending, lengthening, lifting that leg, reach through your toes, the toes open. And then as you're ready, the opposite arm, left arm reaching forward. And just feel whole body here that both the effort, the doing, and the softening so the breath can move. As you let this go, the hand comes down, knee comes down, left leg reaching back, right arm. <clears throat> As you're ready, reaching forward, the awareness of the neck, that length through the throat and the back of the neck. As you let this go, you'll go back and forth, exploring, moving and breathing. Keeping the face soft, like the throat, the mouth, even the lips. And that softness, maybe that little smile that comes in. And then as you let go of this, transition now to down dog. This is just our first down dog. So we're gonna open the hands, spreading the fingers, grounding the knuckles. And then as you're lifting into this, we'll just roll through the feet a little bit. So feeling, sensing the soles of the feet. Yeah, maybe one at a time, walking the dog, toes opening, and even start to move your hips like you're kind of stretching one side of the body. 
at a time, letting the hips, one hip reaches back, the other hip reaches back, kind of a snaky movement through your spine. Just feeling the spine side to side. And then let the knees touch down here. Back to all fours, so hands back under your shoulders. We're going to move into just a lateral stretch. Take your right hand and reach it over towards your left, placing that hand on the floor, and then just reach your hips back to child pose. So the right side of the body now, exploring that stretch, breathing, feeling. body needs some time in these poses. And then as you come up, bringing that right hand back, and then the left hand reaching over towards the right. And this feeling where the hand goes and as you reach your hips back, this kind of folding into your child, but sensing left side of the body, the breath moving in that left rib cage. past the words directly into sensing and feeling the body. Listen to your breath. And then as you come back up, knowing as well, moving back to downward facing dog. So you could start with the hands spreading, opening, pressing the hands down. Now, as you're lifting, downward facing dog, hips lifting, feel the rib cage, breathe into the side ribs, and then preparing for three-legged dog. Feet might move a little closer together. Reach your right leg back, extending back, and opening in front of that right hip. And then to switch, you're going to bring that right foot down and the left leg goes back. So it's going straight back. In a way, we're not opening the hip yet. You're just reaching back. Breathing as you switch. The left foot comes down, right leg directly back. Arms firm and straight. Use the earth here. Press down and then switch again. Right foot down, that left leg extending back. Breath is free, yes. So the left foot as it comes down, now move to plank pose. So now both hips are open. Chest forward. Now lightly touch the knees down, lower onto your belly. And lift into your cobra pose. There's still energy back through your legs. Lift into your cobra and then just releasing out of your cobra pose. And then lifting again, possibly close your eyes as you lift and lower in and out of this pose. Face is soft. Exploring the work of this pose. But feeling this easeful quality Mind is calming. So 
you're lifting into this pose, the shoulders lift up and widen across the chest. And then as you let this go, we're moving back to down dog. So feeling hands, feet, pressing, lifting of the hips, maybe that's sharpening the angle in the hips. Aware of the spine, imagine the front of your spine lengthening. And then reach the right leg back again. So this time we're gonna explore opening that right hip. Gradually lift and open the hip. You could keep the leg straight, you might bend the knee. Breathing and feeling. And then we switch. We bring that right foot down, grounding, and move from this stability. Left leg reaching back, opening the left hip. Breathing, switch again. That left foot comes down, the right leg going back, opening. Exploring, switching, arms strong, and then as that foot comes down, drop the knees down, and shifting to all fours, so hands under the Shoulders, take the knees closer together. <clears throat> so we're going to open to a balancing pose here where we start <clears throat> with the left foot opening to the left. Let that foot just swing out to the left a little bit. Reach your right leg back. Extend back through the right leg. And then gradually you're going to open the right hip, lifting the right arm, reaching the right arm up. And feeling with the back of the body lengthening, reaching back through the heel. Throws aligned, soft, open, breathing. Yes, and now hand comes down, knee comes down. Back. Center and then that right foot opening to the right. Just let it shift open, left leg reaching back. As you reach back, opening the hip. That left hip opens, the shoulder opens, you start to reach up. Grounding, stabilizing, heart lifting. Yeah, and then hand comes down, knee comes down. You get to do this one more time. You move back to center, and then that left foot opens. Right leg reaching back. Navel draws in, stabilizing as you open up here. Lift up through the bottom arm. Lift out of your bottom shoulder. Ah. Hand comes down, knee comes down. The right foot opens to the right. Left leg reaching back and opening up here. Pressing into the earth as you open. Lifting. Whole back side of the body lengthening. Hand comes down. Knee comes down. Move yourself to cat and cow. Bring this fluidity back and listen to your breath. It's easy for the mind to get filled with a lot of chatter as we do yoga poses. So we can move our awareness past the words and directly into the body. Ah. 
And then move yourself back to child pose. Any variation and just pause, breathe. So as you come out of child's pose, coming up, yes, we're going to move into downward facing dog. This time, close your eyes and just move right into the breath here, into a, a stillness. And then you're going to bring yourself to standing. You can walk the feet forward, come up to standing. As you come up, just feel your feet, just sense and ground your feet. I'm gonna move into just a few sun breaths here where you bring your arms up, you're gonna inhale. And then as you exhale, just move right into a forward bend all the way over, squeeze out your exhale. And then as you come up, you inhale, feel your feet pressing down, the lift, lift of the navel, and then the folding over. Now move and breathe in your own way, your own pace. Moving awareness deeper into the body, feeling this strength growing. Every cell is doing this. The ease is growing. That freedom of the breath. On the next time you come up, you can just stay up. The arms drop down alongside you. You could shift up towards the front of the mat a bit if you're not there. So we're gonna move into crescent pose where your right foot stays forward and your left foot will step back. This is a little bit of a balancing pose. The back heel is up, bend the right knee slightly, lift the chest. So stable, grounded, Throat is soft, start to reach your arms up in any way. Just pressing down, lifting up, breath moving. And then the arms just reach out to the sides, that wide across the chest. And then move yourself to a small twist by reaching your right arm back. And as it reaches back, you're going to twist and open to your right. Keeping the throat soft, back leg straightening. And then as you untwist, as you move back towards the front, in your own way, you're going to step forward and move to a tree pose. Start with awareness of your foot, the right foot, the right leg. That firming, stabilizing the joints, the work around your waistband, that awareness, stabilizing the pelvis, lifting up through the spine. It's a good pose to feel the body respirating, the throat soft, the mouth. Calm, possibly that little smile on the lips. Ground your heel. Whole body present. And then that left foot now, as you let go of this, the left foot is going to step back. And as it steps back, you're going to pivot and open to your left. So as you open to your left, your feet are parallel, you're in a wide-legged position, 
Move to a forward bend, strong leg, pull up through your legs. Breathe and feel. So if we pay attention, we notice every time you do a pose, it's a little different. So what's happening here? Drop your head. Lift up through your legs. There's a sense of strength. And then press into your feet. Come all the way up. And as you're coming up here, we're going to take the right foot and pivot it so that right foot points towards the front of your mat. We're preparing for warrior two pose. So that back foot points in, toes point in a little bit, start to bend your right knee. Maybe step a little wider apart. Lift up through the spine and extend your arms. We could always touch awareness back to the feet, that grounding or to the earth, that stabilizing. And the lightness through the throat, your breath is moving. Now take the arms and rotate the arms so palms are up. Take revolved warrior two. We drop your back arm, that left arm, the right arm lifting up. And breathe into that right side. Bend the right knee. Feel right, oh, the easeful quality as you're opening to the Full pose. As you let go of this, pressing into your feet, move to triangle pose. Straighten the legs. That light touch. Keep straightening the legs. Draw energy up from the earth. Deep crease in your right hip, pointing your tailbone to the left. Lengthen the spine, lift the heart. Throat is aligned. And now that little bend of the right knee, come up, back to warrior two. Revolved warrior two, drop that back arm again, maybe touch your thigh, like feeling hmm, back thigh, back leg working, lift the chest. And then again, back to triangle pose, or straightening legs, feel your knees strong and straight. Breathing, lengthen. Front of the spine, lengthening. Notice the neck, the head. Now, the top arm is going to come down. And as you're facing that bottom foot, you're going to move back to down dog. Do this in your own way. Hands coming down, stepping back. Move right into the breath, even possibly close your eyes. Just feel ah, feet, hands, and then plank pose. Moving to your plank, draw your tailbone in, chest forward. And then go back to down dog, inhaling. And as you exhale, go to plank pose. Move back and forth. Exploring the flow of breath, the movement, feeling your joints. That movement in your joints is done in a way that is therapeutic, healing, strengthening. Yes, and then knees touch down, lower onto your belly. Now arms are going to reach back. 
We're gonna shift into Shalabhasana, locust pose, palms facing down. And as you lift into this, legs extend and lift, head lifts, shoulders lift up. And let the hands maybe lift an inch or two. But focus on lifting the upper arms. The shoulder blades start to slide onto your back. And then just pause and give the body some time here. Ah, mind is at ease, unconflicted. Lower down and move right to down dog. So the hands are on either side of your chest. And then press into the hands and lift up. Sharpen that angle in the hips. Reach the pubic bone back between your legs. Firm the arms. Lengthen the inner lines of the arms. And then take some little steps forward towards your hands. Move to your forward bend, Uttanasana. Breathe to your belly. And then come right up to standing. Push into the feet. Come all the way up. Ground your heels. And just feel earth, the grounding down. And as you bring your arms down, tall, lifting up to the crown of the head. And then as we move to the other side, you can shift up towards the front of your mat if you're not there. And the left foot stays forward, right foot stepping back. So the back foot, the heel is a little lifted. Front knee is bent, straightening that back leg. So yeah, front of the hip opens, lift the chest slightly. Throat soft. Now lifting up through your spine, that, ah, that sense of strength around your spine. Then the arms come up. Easeful. Throat, mouth. Allow that hint of a smile. And then as the arm just reach out to the side, knowing, okay, now we're gonna move to the twist so that left arm starts to reach back. This needs to be at your own pace. Lighthearted. Hmm. And then as you untwist, Moving to tree pose, so that just step forward. Feeling like, ah, left side, left leg. Start from the sole of the foot. Strength lifting up through the leg. Spine. Light-hearted. Yeah, those branches, your arms can go wherever you want. Knowing like this tree pose is, has nothing to do with all the other tree poses you've done. It's here and now. Now, as you're letting go of this, that right foot comes down and the right foot then just steps back. And you open to your right side. So as you pivot, you're in a wide-legged position. Feet are parallel. And then forward bend, your wide-legged forward bend. Breathing. So an option here would be to take this to kind of a wide-legged down dog. So you reach your hands forward. 
exploring that if you want to get a little weight forward but then you reach your hips back and that similar to down dog breathe and then as you walk your hands back Push into the feet, come all the way up. And then just the left foot opens, pivots to point towards the front of the mat. That right foot pointing in slightly for warrior two. So the left knee bends, keeping the right leg straight, extend the arms. Feeling whole body here, throat aligned. So again, that center of communication. What happens when it softens? Your mouth softens. Rotate the arms, palms face up, and then the right arm drops, left arm lifts, that revolved warrior two. Feel the bending of the left knee, just reaching forward, lifting even the navel, lifting up here. And then kind of slowly to triangle, trikonasana. So we straighten left leg, extend out over to the left. That light touching. Pulling up through the legs, lengthen through the spine, that top arm as it opens the top shoulder in a way that works. So very clear. I feel stable. You might still wobble. You know, you can, you can feel stable and wobble at the same time. Left knee bends a little bit. Come up. Warrior two. Back arm drops. That right arm drops down. Left arm lifts. Space in the whole body. Around your brain. Triangle pose, straighten the legs, extend that left side of the body, whole spine, lengthen, align your throat, mouth, sinuses, feel the little twist as you open up here. Yes, and now the top arm comes down and you're facing down and you move back to down dog. Explore the weight in your hands. Oh, I could press and ground the inner hands, the feeling of the weight in your feet, the grounding the base of the big toes and then moving to your plank pose. And then back to your down dog. So let this just breathe and move. Keeping the arms straight and the legs straight the whole time. Just that energy of stabilizing those joints. Touch the knees down, move on to your belly. Arms reaching back. So now we're moving into locust pose. You're lifting the legs, lifting the chest, reaching back through the fingers. Slide the shoulder blades onto your back. And then as you let go of this, look to your right side. 
Let the head rotate facing your right side, lower all the way down. And then you lift right back into the pose. You're lifting up, feel the head neutral, and then you release, you look to the left. All the way down. Now, keep doing this back and forth. When we move in and out of a pose, we can learn as we're feeling the body moving in and out. No strain, mind calm. Breath is moving and flowing. Sense what's happening in your spine with this back bend. The space around your heart opening. So we'll keep this balance. Next time you look to your left, that could be your last one, and then you move to down dog. Taking those little steps forward towards your hands, forward bend. The energy lifting up through the legs, right up. The inner legs lifting your inner thighs up, dropping your head. Even shake the head a little bit here. Good, and then come up, push into the feet. As you come all the way up, you're gonna bring your arms up. And we're gonna move right into Utkatasana, a little squat pose. You might take your feet a little closer together and just start to sit. Sitting back, keeping the chest lifted and light. And then as you come up, you can bring the arms all the way down, back to standing, mountain pose. So keep the heart light, keep the throat nice and soft as you move back into this. Now the arms just reach forward, like shoulder height, sitting back. So choosing how deep you sit into this, and then you come up. Again, repetition. Just moving in and out of this pose. That deep sense and my throat is soft. Soft around your nostrils, all of the breath passageways just flowing. Feet stay nice and open, the ankles strong and firm. That work of the back, like the back muscles. As soon as you start to sit into this, there's that lift up through the spine. The spine stays drawing in the body. Next time you're in your squat, you get to stay there and breathe. We're working with that easeful quality, like while the body might be trembling or getting warm. And then fold all the way over. Again, just forward bend. Breathe, straighten the legs. And 
And then take yourself right down onto the mat, sitting down. So you're going to sit down with your legs in front of you. Lifting up through the spine. So here is that kind of sharp angle in the hips. We're going to take a twist. So your right leg will stay forward. You're going to bend your left knee and just hop that foot up and over. Pause here. Lengthen up through the spine. And then we'll just take right hand forward, holding that shin bone. And lift the chest, take a little twist to your left. So pause right here, close the eyes, and feel the very base of the body grounding. And from that, the lifting of the sides of the body, shoulders are down. Inhale, lengthening up through the crown of the head. Exhale, twisting, feeling the twist. Take three full breaths. Untwist. As you release, that left leg extends. Left leg stays forward. Right knee bends. That foot goes up and over. Pause. Grounding. Size of the body lengthening. And then that left hand comes forward. Just holding the shin. Lift up through the very center of the body, lifting up, throat is aligned, twisting to the right. The easeful quality here, so you know, rather than gripping or cranking the body here. With all the space you could sense. Breathe to your belly. Around your brain. And untwist. So as you come towards the front here, and as we let go of this, just take your feet kind of wide or apart with your knees bent. Lean back a little bit. And just drop your knees back and forth, like right and left. Yeah, your hands are just back behind you. And just dropping, really loose. So this next twist now as you drop knees to your right side. This twist, start to rotate back behind you, is more of a twist around your waistband. So breathe and feel around your navel. And when you exhale, kind of squeeze and feel that full space around your navel and your lower back. Sense the whole spine twist. And then just start to lift back up, rotating back to the front. 
And we'll start with the knees going up and over to your left. So that right hip really lifts up and you start to rotate back behind you. Lengthening through the spine. So yeah, let this be fairly organic. Like as you go back, you might drop your weight into your hands, into your palms, or if you want to drop to your elbows, you can. Yeah, letting the spine decide. And keep breathing to your navel. So there's that space around your navel. up. As you come back to the front, you could just let your knees drop back and forth a few times. Yep, feet stay kind of wide apart so there's space for the knees. And the breath go down to your belly. Mm, good, so we're going to just move this right onto your back. Just recline onto your back side. And we are preparing to go right to a bridge pose. So the arms alongside you, as you bend your knees, the feet on the floor, you might draw the feet in towards your butt. But take the feet apart. Give the feet space apart. And then allow the breastbone to lift up a little bit as you drop your shoulders. And then press into the feet, lift the butt away from the floor. And just feel like as you're lifting up here, the feet are pressing straight down. And let's start to lift the breastbone, ground the upper arms, and just sense the throat, like, ah, oh, throat and soften. And then go ahead and release down. So just to explore, we do this repetition again. So there's just so much that can be learned about freedom when we move in and out of a pose. Lifting and lowering in and out of your bridge pose. I can't, could I keep my throat soft the whole time? My eyes calm the breath flowing as I do this. So rather than focused on how high can I get myself into this pose, there's this focus on freedom, and the breath moving, the feeling of stability and being grounded. Seeing the goodness of doing this work. With the heart that is free. Eyes are soft. Next time you lift up into the pose, you're going to pause. You'll be in your bridge pose. Keep lifting your breastbone. Throat soft. Feel the feet pressing down. And then release the spine down. And as the spine releases into the floor. Let the belly relax and soften. And take yourself to Shavasana.
which means the legs might extend, or you can keep your knees bent. Let the eyes close. Take your awareness to your forehead. Allowing the forehead to soften. Aware of the space around your eyes. Bring awareness to your throat, your mouth. So it doesn't take a lot of effort to bring your awareness to your body. more of a remembering. Oh yeah. I'm aware of my whole body. And as awareness touches the body, the body softens. Bring your awareness to your belly. Stay here. Aware of the legs, the letting go, releasing the legs. Aware of the whole neck, throat, and as you soften the neck, release, drop the weight of your head. Softening the neck, dropping the weight of your head.
Awareness flowing inward where the energy you're made of. We keep remembering, oh, I'm right here. Softening the whole body. Each time you bring awareness back, it matters. Bending your knees one at a time. Reach up and grab your kneecaps and circle your knees around rolling on your lower back. Circle the other way, just feeling that little massage pressure on the back. And then we'll just roll to one side and come back up to a seated pose. Bring palms together in front of the heart. Dedicating the merit of our practice. You may wish to dedicate this work to someone you know. That the work that you do here supports and heals your relationship with that person. But so naturally, the work that we have done here we release all of the fruits of our practice. May all beings benefit. Namaste.